Hello everybody, my name is Evelyn Cortom and I am the General Secretary of FIXA. Today I would like to introduce you to our Information Officer Erwan Razali and you will learn about the work he has been doing so far. So Erwan, can I just ask you what is your function as Information Officer in FIXA? Could you explain that to our members? Thank you, Evelyn. So let me tell you a little bit about what I do as the information officer. Um, I started in December last year and I am based in Kuala Lumpur, hosted by WHO Global Service Centre. And my function involves information management. So what does that mean? It means I help to process, produce, compile and present information in a way that is easy for you, the FIXA members, to use. For example, through the FIXA website, the SharePoint that we used during Council last year, I mean this year, and of course now we are using Teams a lot for meetings. And I also work on the FIXA digital transformation, which is a part of the functional review to modernize the way we work in FIXA. That's in a nutshell what I do. There's of course a lot more than that. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Now we're doing a lot of work on the website and we're trying to, to make it as accessible to our members as possible and also to new potential members. So maybe you can you can give us a run through how you particularly contribute to the transparency of information, dissemination and presentation through the FIXA website. So as I mentioned earlier, I try to organize information in a way that you can easily access and use. And one of the main tools for that is the FIXA website. So to demonstrate that, I'll walk you through the FIXA website. So the moment you reach the FIXA website, you can see the big header here. This will show you the current hot topic that's going on in FIXA. Like right now, we are showing um, the legal protection insurance. So at a glance, you can see what's the hot topic um, that's going on. And we try to create a one-stop location. That means just by going to the main page, you will be able to access some of the latest information without having to browse or search deeper into the website. So if you scroll down, you might notice there's a section that um, showcases the latest FIXA communications and circulars so that you can see easily what's new that we have published, right? And also the reports from the high level um, meetings that, that FIXA attends. And if you scroll further on the main page, you can also see our latest publications, which includes like magazines, um, brochures, um, communication strategy and so on. So if there is anything new, you will be able to find it here. And of course, there are links here to view past communications and um, publications as well. And as you scroll further down, you can see our news, Facebook feed, the FIXA calendar that shows you um, upcoming workshops, councils, meetings. And of course, a little bit of a teaser that shows people what FIXA is and you know how many members we have, how many people do we represent and so on. Of course, at the bottom, you can subscribe to the FIXA newsletter. And if you see on the right and also down here, you can easily um, access FIXA's um, social media and you can follow us on LinkedIn, um, Facebook, Twitter, and see you know what else we are we have been up to. Um, now, if I walk you through the main menu um, about FIXA, will show you um, the it will give you a lot of insight about what FIXA is, our history, our structure, the FIXA statutes, who are the members of FIXA and how you can become a member. Right, you can explore that and I'll bring you to something interesting. The standing committee is a work in progress right now. We are going to actively use this as a space for standing committees to showcase their work, to upload resources, materials that you can use. Um, for example, and the topics and resources, we will be adding publications, um, articles, resources based on the various topics under this standing committee. So if uh, and also, the, of course, the past reports of this standing committee. So if you're looking for something on teleworking, for example, you can go on teleworking, expand this topic, and then you will be able to find the um, resources underneath this and click on it to access and use the resource. For example, this is our survey on teleworking 
um, from the past council, 72nd council. Um, other than standing committees, we also have topics. Um, this is mostly cross-cutting topics that may span across several standing committees and is of interest to staff representatives worldwide. For example, the COVID-19 page, which is I think the most current topic that, that we have right now, contains a lot of information that you can use. Um, for example, the administrative and return to workplace guidelines. And this is very important. Your organization may adapt the CEB, the, the main guideline, um, to, to your specific circumstances. But you can, you can find here the main um, guidelines that is used by the interagencies that may help you as an input in your in your discussion with your, your um, organization and your management. And also you can see return to workplace policies contributed by some of our FIXA members that may also contribute to you as you you have a dialogue on the return to workplace policies of your own organization. Um, you can see other topics here if you want to know more about hardship classification, how are they classified, what's the process. So FIXA has an e-learning presentation on this and also links to the ICSC. Um, legal is a very hot topic right now and you can find a lot of resources available here. Also from the recent 14th of July session, if you missed that session, you can also access the recording here and view the session. All right, so the last two sections, activities, as the name implies, has a list of all the FIXA workshops, meetings, and also what's new is to ask the FIXA expert online sessions. So you can access this page, and then when you go to this page, you will be able to see as a FIXA expert the first so the past session that you may have missed, you will be able to see the resources here. And at the same page, we will also populate it with upcoming sessions, second and third sessions, so that you can sign up here and add this to your calendar so that you don't miss um, the FIXA expert sessions. Media Center is where we put all the FIXA publications at, um, at a one-stop location. We are also working on a project to move things out from the members only area, like the, the archives, to move all of it out to the public area so that it's easily searchable by you, or you can also browse and, and, and use the information without having to log in. So we will only keep classified or sensitive items in the members area so that you know, it's easy for you to use the information. Um, right, so you might be wondering what's in the members area then. So in the members area, we have three um, items right now. You can change your profile, your name, your password, of course. You can view your workshops that you have subscribed to in the past and access the, the resources. And also the document library. This is similar to the document library in our old website where you can access, first of all, these are the latest documents uploaded and you can access documents by groups. Like if you want to find the FIXA Council report from 10 years ago, just go to fix our documentation, fix our councils. If you want to find a survey result of um, a fix our questionnaire that we did a couple of years back, you can, you can search from here or you can use a search feature. Right. So you've asked to have the uh, ability to search within documents in the fix our website. So that's what we, we built for you. So you should be able to do research easily on various topics. This is the main um, features of the new website. Sorry if I took too much time, but if you have any comments uh, when you visit the website, please feel free to write to us at fixa at new And we're still developing it further. We're going exactly. to have the orange pop up on mm. each page, which tells you also about the latest news that we have. So that's a really um, important um, uh, addition that will come up. And uh, I think since I've been looking at the FIXA website also in the past, this is the most accessible FIXA ever had and, and the most modern and you can easily find resources. There might be, you might be overwhelmed with the uh, quantity of resources, but the quality is definitely really excellent. So as Irwan said, for any questions, please get in touch with us. And thank you Irwan for explaining the website.